Hey guys, it is Sonya here at Jug Monkey Paint Company coming to you live from Ligonier, Pennsylvania in the mountains of Pennsylvania. Where are you guys watching from today? So I have to tell you, much like I labeled this post, that this is going to be a drama-free zone, okay? Who agrees with me? When I say this is a drama-free zone, like, you can keep all that stuff to yourself, right? You know what I'm saying? Kate's in the background going, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your angle's uh, vertical. Uh, my angle's weird? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I tell you what, guys. I'm going to end this video and I'll pop right back on because otherwise you will be seeing it up and down. And I think, well, let me see here. Let me see if I can work some magic. How about I do that? How about I do that? Does that work? For everybody, how does that look, Kate? Takes a moment to adjust on your screen. Yeah, it takes a few seconds. It still works. I just don't see any comments. Okay. I can see comments on my end, so I think we're going okay. All right, guys. Does my hands look like they're right? Now I think you are up and down this way, right? Which is fine. I just switched my position, not your position. But we're going to do... We're going to do... Um, you know, a, a say no to drama llama today. Have some fun. I've actually got a few moments here because we are getting ready to go live into our um, coaching club. You guys know that I coach over 130 women all across the country currently on how to grow their business. And so at three o'clock on Mondays, I jump in and I coach them on a topic. And so I have a few moments to kill here. So I figured I'd pop on because I have got a say no to drama llama in my head and I'm going to put him out today. I'm gonna to get him out of my head and onto a piece of glass. So you guys know that I love to paint on different mediums, not just wood. And I do furniture, but with the, just because our paint is so versatile, what it means is that I can just be creative on what I have around me, right? So whether it's wood, fake wood, laminate, um, whether it's glass, whatever I wanna get into. So just to let you know, I will show you what I do with this piece of glass in just a second, but it's actually the insert that is in an eight by 10 frame. You know what I'm talking about? Just one of those good old frames that you get at Wally World, eight by 10. And I put it down on a piece of parchment paper here. So hopefully it's coming through okay. You guys, Can you guys see that piece of glass? I know it's a clear surface, but I think we'll be okay. So now it just means that I will have to reach extra long, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll make it work. So is this coming across okay right now, Kate? Yeah, it looks good on my phone. Oh, good. Okay, awesome. So I'm just going to wing it. You guys know that if you follow me on here painting that I pretty much just, I'm a wing it kind of girl. I'm also a shabby painter, so it's like as long as you can tell what is, you're going to be able to tell what it is, but it might not be like perfect because I don't believe anything is perfect in this world. And uh, so you know what? I'm a messy, shabby, imperfectly perfect kind of lover, all right? But I'm basically mapping out in my mind right now, like where, what I would, in my mind, virtual, basically think about a llama to look like, right? In my brain. So they've got these big eyeballs right there. Oh man, aren't llamas cute? They're so cute. They're so cute. But then they have like this weird body. Let's see if we can get it just right. But they've got this weird body. I once did um, a kitchen cabinet set for a lady and I kid you not, they uh, had a llama farm and I, I enjoyed just going out there just to see the llamas like every single day when I was painting in her kitchen. And um, they're funny creatures. Anybody know what I'm talking about? They really do have like a heart shaped kind of nose. Have you ever looked them up? Oh, look, he's smiling at you guys, right? He's smiling right there. But yeah, it, they've kind of got this like circle right here and the heart shaped nose. And then I call like the anchor. That's how I draw mine, okay? So nothing crazy. So what I like to do is just use my, uh, this is a chalky style paint. Just grab a go, grab a brush and go bananas. So I'm going bananas today with a llama. Getting all crazy with the cheese whiz. But that's pretty much like what a llama would look like, right? Like the shape of him. What do you guys think? Yeah? All right, and then I just fill them in with a little bit more paint. So this is just our black velvet, and because it sticks to pretty much anything under the sun, I love to be able to paint old windows. So this will be really cool to paint on an old window. Right now, it's like I'm just using this because I have this frame, and I'm like, I feel like instead of framing, framing him inside, I'm actually going to put him right on top of the... Um, of the glass, right? So there we go. So I've got our black velvet down. So now the next thing I think I'm going to do is think about, think about, I'm going to go ahead, same brush. I'm just going to dip right into my candy bar brown. And so anytime that you want, um, you know, you want to show that you have like in his ears, that's going to be shadow in his ears, right? So this is why I'm going to put the brown, the lighter versus the 
the black outside on the edges and leave that inside with the black, okay? So now I'm just gonna go ahead and over the, the back. Again, you know, this is not about being perfect. This is just about, just about making it happen and having fun today. So how is everybody out there? Are you guys having fun? What's everybody up to? So I also know that, you know, if this was this chin right here, guys, that this would be darker. I mean, think about under your chin. Sometimes you get that shadow right there, right? So I'm not going to put the lighter brown underneath his chin. I'm going to reserve that for the sides of his neck, right? Again, that helps just give me, um, give me the look that I want to get. So how cool is that so far? So, so, so far. All right, let's do some banana bucks today, Caitlin. I agree. I think we should give some banana bucks away, all right? So, for anybody who shares this video and hangs out and chats with us and uh, says no to the drama llama, I want you to share this video and at the very end, I'm gonna holler at a name and somebody will win $20 in big banana bucks to be able to use over on our website at junkmonkeypaint.com and you just plug that special code in and you're good to go, right? But you just have to make sure that if your name is drawn at the end of this video, you have to message us by midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, put winner, winner in the sub subject line so that um, we don't miss you and um, that way we can connect, okay? Now I'm reaching real far for my um, vintage white. I'm not even letting this dry because I like when my paint colors blend together, to be totally honest with you. So in terms of white, this is his nose right here, right? So I definitely know that his nose is lighter. So I'm going to add, oh, how cute is that, right? Yes, I'm dipping in right into my uh, vintage white. And he's got like this, I don't know, does llamas have a snout? Mm. What are they? Uh -huh. They're a snout? Yeah, they're a little snout. Good. Okay. All right. Well, I said that right. All right. So there we got our little llama snout all right just to kind of get get going here and then i like to add a little bit of light again on the sides because but i want to have the white coming forward all right so what happens is when you have um like i say light pushes it back and dark sorry light brings it forward and dark pushes it back right it's like us when we do our contour or our cheeks and stuff like that so I'm contouring the, the uh, just say no to drama llama right now. All right, he's cute. He's already looking fine and fabulous. He's getting there, right? You can see where this is going. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'll just, like, you know, let that do its thing. But, again, you keep the dark for, the, for like, the inside of the ears. So I'm just going to hit that again just to make those ears a little bit darker and push them back a little bit further to show. And then if you put curves, it shows that, you know, that his ears has some shape to them. All right, so I have to tell you that you can leave, you can work on your just say no to drama llama just like this and leave his, leave him looking and filling his eyeballs. But for me, listen, I'm a messy shabby painter and uh, I just feel like that, uh, you know, this, this drama llama needs something to be a little bit along the shabby lines as well, okay? So I am going to go in, I'm going to reach over here for my Bahama Jade. But this is the part where you don't have to do this if you don't want to. But I like mine to be a little, you know, a little psychedelic baby, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that he's got, like, some crazy wild hair. Because they do have wild hair. The reason why I map out the face first is because it then it allows me to put the hair on exactly where it needs to be, okay? So, you know, they got, like, all this wild, fun hair going down. And I love, love, love my Bahama Jade. Because he's a cool cat. And, uh, well, he's a cool llama, let's be honest. So, let's go ahead and give him some really cool, there we go, nothing crazy, but he definitely got some wild hair going on there, right? What do you guys think? We can bring it down a little bit further as well, because hair not just sticks it over the edge, but it starts to fall down around his lovely little cheekbones, right there, right? Pretty darn cool. All right, so, let's go ahead and ha add in some uh, lightning. So, we've added a little bit of white for whitening, but I also want to use some yellow because I think I want this one to be whimsical because I'm a whimsical painter. And so, yes, this is a llama that has Bahama Jade teal hair. And I think I'm okay with him having maybe just a little bit of yellow as well, okay? Because at the end of the day, like I said, you know, I love to paint um, more impressionistic, which is just like, you know, you, you know what it is, but it might not be perfectly proportioned. Um, and you know, there might be teal hair, but you know what it is, right? This is a fun guy. He's a fun guy. All right. So I love that there. All right. Let me go ahead and build his chin in a little bit, but I do want to get a little bit more of the vintage white. 
and fill in his nose a little bit more. So again, I want the anchor to show what I call the anchor of his nose, right around there. And I could fix and blend this in layers. Do like that. That's looking cute. And I like how it blends with the other colors. And it gives me more different colors, right? Okay, that's super cute, just like that. All right, now I like to go in with a smaller brush. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. I can actually darken up a little bit of his neck again there too. Add a little bit more. Pick up some more of our dark. Right underneath his chin is where I wanna leave some. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of water and I'm gonna start with my white first. Oh, you know what, guys, what do you think? Does he need a bow tie? Yes, Amy, this is on a piece of glass. So with my junk monkey, I just will paint anything. I will paint anything, right? Hey, Laura, how are you? What do you guys think? Does he, need a, does he need a bow tie? I mean, could you see this guy with a bow tie? What do you think, Kate? I say yes. That's full of drama. Yep, a bow tie that's full of drama? Oh, yeah. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go back, grab our black velvet, and we can start thinking about a bow, right? So maybe like down right here. So I could let this dry if I want or get my heat gun out real fast, but I'm just making use of my paint as it's wet and it blends and it gives me this awesome blended look. So there's the center of the bow tie and then like, what do you think guys, right here? Oh my gosh, okay. Now he's looking spiffy. Uh, you know, a llama with a bow tie. What do you think we should call this? He's a boy. What should we call the no drama llama? Life is too short for brownie frowny, frowny furniture and also to have drama. Just saying, oh, I like that, right? What do you guys think about that? Now I think we should add some color into his bow tie. I'm gonna go in for my Liberty Blue. I'm gonna go right on top of that black. It'll give me this really cool blend it look. The center of his bow tie. Go ahead and get the edges out there a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Let's fix this edge right here, the bow tie, where I think I touched it. That's what's fun. When you're done, you can look back and you can like do whatever you need to do, right? So I do like that right there. What do you think? I feel like he might need a little bit bigger hair now that I'm, I'm kind of like filling his bow tie out. So let's go ahead and give him some like a little bit more hair on top of here. Some are saying that the bow tie needs polka dots. Agreed. A pop of green. Oh, I like that idea. All right, so let's try that. Let me see here. Do I have my heat gun plugged in? Because, yeah, I think so. I think we need some polka dots. I agree. Let me hit this real fast with my heat gun. Let's do it. All right, let me hit this real fast. Because I'm going to add some polka dots into his bow tie. Polka dots, good idea. Yeah, right. I agree. All right, let's draw that out. Just... Real quick. All right, you guys know that I grab the top of my um, paintbrush and I go in. You know what? Why don't I just bring the paint to me? That might be even, you know, I'm stretching here, getting my work out. Just a few little polka dots. Let's see how the top of this one is. Ooh. Darling, you are looking fabulous. That's cute. All right, what do you think, guys? Whew. 
All right. He looks like he is ready to go to a pate. All right, actually, let me keep that white because let's get a little bit of white onto my brush. Then I like to do dark and um, light and dark, right? So let's do this here. Kayleen said, how about Bruce? Oh my gosh, that's a good name. He looks like a Bruce, I gotta tell ya. You know Adam's gonna be like Bruce Springsteen. You know why I'm laughing. Yes, I know why Matt's laughing. <laughs> Matt has a Bruce in the family. You can come judge for yourself, Matt, and tell me if he looks like a Bruce. You might agree. Too funny. All right, guys, I love that. I'm going to use the rest of that white in my brush. Bless you. Again, just to fill out his nose a little bit. Again, I want the anchor. I'm going to go back over his nose in just a second, but I just want to make sure I keep this shape. And the sides... Someone said Toby. Toby. <laughs> Too cute. You still have to watch that yet. Roxanne said Leonard. <laughs> yes. Too cute. All right, so now I can go back in and I can have some fun. So maybe I'll add a little bit of the brown to my brush. And again, just to make sure his cheeks stay brown. What's below his nose is going to be a little bit darker. Go ahead and do that. Give him some texture. Liam the llama. Liam the llama. He's a cutie patootie. All right, and then let's go ahead and get some black. Larry. Bleach and in for the, my dad's name is Larry. Yeah, yeah. he'd be like, oh, fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> name the Larry up. Name the llama after me. Sure, Sonia. Get some water on that. Leroy. He looks like a Leroy. God love him. Uh -huh. There we go. That's cool. You're getting a lot of names. A lot of good names. Want me to say all of them? Yeah, go for it, please. Okay. So I'll start with Willis. Larry, <laughs> Larry, with two L's, Uncle Sam, Trevor, Leroy, Bubba, Waldo, Cusco, Leo, Dolly, Bahama Llama. The Dolly Llama. Lamagini. Lamagini. Funny. Blueberry, Branford. <laughs> Those are good names, guys. Henry. That's my cat's name. That is your cat's name, isn't it? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit more dark on there, but boy, I like how he looks right now. I really like that. And of course, we gotta put some light and dark up here as well. Just Leonardo like... de Lama. Leonardo de Lama, funny. We're getting some all caps now. It's like everyone's shouting out names. <laughs> Lorenzo, Radar. All right, let's go back for the white. We gotta put some, you know, we got the yellow in his hair, but also I feel like that we need a little bit of white. Just for all the, you know, he's out in the yard. He's got, you know, some sun-kissed hair, right? You know what I'm saying? He's got his bow tie ready. Oh, I like that. And Gaylene said Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Matt wants, Matt, Gaylene, Matt. <laughs> he says he heard that, too funny. All right, and he's gonna add some white into here. Guys, I think he's looking pretty marvelous. What do you guys think? I'm adding a little bit to the ends of his hair. I'm gonna kind of fall in. Oh, dang, he's looking dapper. What do you guys think, huh? Pretty fun. This is a fun project. I'm just knocking this out real quick with you guys because I have a frame that needs, needs, some, uh, needs something done with it, okay? And so I've painted it, and this is the insert. I'll put it on while we're doing this together here. And I also like to do the background, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the background. I am going to take some, I think I'm just gonna stick with white, and um, take my like a inch wide brush, 
And then what I can do is basically kind of go close to it, but not quite. And I do every which way with my brush. Like I do, you know, messy shabby, right? So not perfect. It's like a portrait. It's like a portrait. I like it. Spitty. Spiffy. He is spiffy, isn't he? All right, let's go ahead and do that for our, um, you know, I like to see the brush marks back and forth, meaning that I put my brush this way and that way, almost like as if you were trying to take br um, paint off your brush. Um, Laura said you could put scrapbook paper behind it. Yes, that would be beautiful. I'll show you. Great minds kind of think alike because I'll show you what I have in mind. Got it all ready to go. Because if I put this in a frame, um, you know, it's just you typically like cardboard behind it and, uh, you know, or something like that. And I want it to have a nice solid background because this is glass and it will show anything that's behind it. So I'm going to add in some like different brush strokes. I like to see the, um, just all kinds of different brush, brush strokes. But yay, for those of you who are joining us, we're using Junk Monkey Paint, and today the colors I've used is um, Black Velvet and Candy Bar Brown, Bahama Jade, Sunshine Yellow, my Vintage White, and my Liberty Blue. You can do this with any colors you want, just like my, my llama today has teal hair and yellow hair. You know what, use what you got, right? At the end of the day, I think he's pretty spunky. I like him. And then you can go back in, and if you feel like, you know, now you're ready for his, the full-on hair, because he finally just got, like, the whole stuff put around him, you can just go on the top and connect where the edge of him hits, like, right around here, so that way it looks a little bit more natural, right? He's got flowy hair. Oh, he's cute. I'm going to add in a little bit of teal down here in some spots, just so it feels like that teal just... He's some, you know, the color is brought around. Oh, I like that. All right. What do you think, Kate? I think, I think he's adorable. pretty cute. I love him. I love him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's Pickles and Petunia's um, cousin, right? So you can play with him all day long. <laughs> I hear Matt behind me. Yes. Hey, Matt. All right. So, what do you think? Are we happy um, with that? Kayleen said that she's changing the subject, but the struggle is real because she picked up an amazing 1970 large four piece bedroom set. Ooh. Whip it out in the paint later today. Very nice. Well, I'm excited for you. I know the excitement that comes with that. Oh my goodness, I love that. It's shiny. Yeah. Woohoo! Should we show them real quick? We should. You should be right. ready by the beginning of next week. My, my messy that. paint hands? I shouldn't touch it, right? If you get my fingerprints on it, just know it, all right? Guys, Matt's behind the scenes here. Let me make sure that I don't um, ruin. But since you guys are joining me live today, you can see a quick sneak peek of what's going on. Some tea. There you go. All right, what do you think? We have been working on new aprons. Look at this metallic gold. I love gold pickles. And so we are working on aprons behind the scenes today and getting them just right and doing some fun design. So, woohoo! All right, sneak peek. Sneak oh, peek goes back to the uh, back to the drawing board. Matt's working on these today, so watch for those to get added to our website over the next hopefully day or so. Okay, so we're just getting it right. We're like busy monkeys. You know what I'm saying? Busy monkeys. What do you guys think of that? What'd you think of that? Oh yeah. All right. 
Okay, let's frame them. Let's frame them. All right, I could even go over with one more coat of white. Let's do that just to make them pop a little bit more. Again, brush over same white surface in every sort of way imaginable that you could fit your brush down, whether this is on paper or whatever you want, right? He would be cute on an end stand too. I got an idea. Stay tuned, you might see an idea come to life. Ooh, yeah. All right. I just want to make the background a little bit more messy and a little bit more popish. You know what I'm saying? And you guys know that I do like to do my, um, my eyeliner effect as well. So I'm still going to do it on this. It's on glass, but who cares? You're using Jump Monkey. Do whatever you want, right? Loving the llama. I love the llama too. You can't see anything because he's got, you know, you know, he's cool, right? If he could be given the peace sign right now and could find his fingers under all that hair, I'm pretty sure he would. You gotta dry that real fast. Awesome. All right. Shabby chip brush going into the black velvet. And we've got a lovely, lovely portrait of a family member. You and your mind know which family member this is at this time. You don't have to say. Ooh, I like how that is just like shabby over there. Let's round out the corners. So fun. Some days you want to paint furniture and some days you just want to sit at your kitchen table and paint fun portraits of whimsical animals or however you want, right? I'm just gonna bring that corner in a little bit. It will be fun as well. I could stick like words right here. How fun would that be, right? A little bit of words will be cute. No drama. Hashtag no drama. You got it. Now I do know that once this is in a frame, it sticks in around the edge. So I'm gonna bring my black out just a little bit further. So that way, I'm gonna capture some of this around the edges. Shabby chip brush, man. Shabby chip brush. Let's put a little bit of dark right here. John's asking if you seal it. You know what? I probably would seal it, um, and I would use my banana peel. I'm gonna show, I'll, I'll throw it in the frame real fast so you guys can see it now, what it's gonna look like. Guys, I'm just taking my shabby chip brush, do you see? Like when I hit it with my shabby chip brush and I went around the corners, I came in really far on this corner, so I, how I'm gonna balance it out is put, it feels like it needs something right here, right? Because it's got all this distance, yet it's a shorter distance over here. So I'm just taking my shabby chip brush, and I'm with this is the black velvet going over the, antique, not the antique lace, but the vintage white. And I'm gonna create a little bit of texture in there. Yeah, can we talk about how gorgeous this is? But yeah, you wouldn't wanna use like monkey shine because you don't wanna rub it, right? You wanna put a nice light coat down and then from there, or even if you have a spray sealer, you could do that too if you don't wanna test the faith, fates of God, but all you have to do is go ahead and get um, now I'm just gonna give it some more texture because I'm all into it. I'm an all or nothing kind of girl. All right, just very light though. I'm building it up because right now I'm not even um, putting any extra on my brush, right? I'm giving it character. Thank you guys for sharing this video. 
when you share it, it goes on to your timeline so you can watch it later. And it's like a save tutorial. And also when you share it, you share the Junk Monkey Love. You help other people find our community. As our small business, we really appreciate that because without you guys sharing and spreading the word, we wouldn't be able to be what we are. We wouldn't be able to work on all these things to be able to bring to you. So I just want you to know sharing truly is caring. And we know that we're nothing without you guys. And so we really appreciate that. And that's why we like to pick somebody um, when we do lives at the very end. Somebody who hung out and shared the video with us because we appreciate you guys. All right. I'm liking that. What do you think? What do you think of that, guys? Yeah? So far, so good? Charlie All right. Charlie said that he somehow looks English. <laughs> <laughs> What's a good English name for this, for this fellow? <laughs> All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Now, you can still see. Can you see my finger coming through there? Right? There's parts where, because it's glass, and I, if I wanted to fully cover it, I could, but I did it in a very shabby fashion. So what I'm going to do is use my burlap Perfect. for my background, because I'm a burlap lover, and I like that. What do you guys think? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just a cheap frame from Wally World. I've put my vintage white, which is the same color that's on here, on my frame. Just did a quick dry brush. And now what I'm going to do is drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Got a good one. What's that? Nigel. Nigel. <laughs> Love it. Um, so that you're getting well. a lot of uh, names again. Okay. Let's, let's f find a good English name for this fellow. Okay, what there's, is it? There's Robert. Yes. Harvey. Yes. Rupert. Harvey. I like that one. Roscoe. Yep. Nigel. You know what I'm seeing? Prince. He needs to be the other way around so that when he hangs, the hook is on the other side. Yes? Um, this is what we have for now. Okay. I just started spamming him. Okay. All right, let's get that way. Because my hook is up this side, so I want to make sure Ooh, that... Peter. I don't like Peter. You want to do Peter? I did my dog that. <laughs> did you? Yeah. I like Henry, too. I <laughs> actually have another animal name that don't use my hook. Yeah, right? All right, so there we go. What do you think, guys? We just used our junk monkey to go right over, and by doing that distressing that I showed you to give it really lots of great texture around here, I've definitely got to sign it down here, and then I will go ahead and monkey shine it over with a, you know, with my very very soft brush, and um, very very lightly, because what I want to do is get a very light coat on first. Then when that sets up, I can go at it again with a little bit more of a heavy one or use a spray sealer if you have one just because we're working on glass and I don't know how heavy you have your paint on. So sometimes your brush strokes could be very, very light and fragile. So that might be the best uh, way for you to go. So there you go. I am pretty happy with him. I do, um, I have to tell you that I do really, really like him. And so I think it's pretty darn cool. This frame could have been any other color. It could have been like, you know, the Bahama Jade or anything, uh, but I think he looks pretty darn cool. If I put him in black, it would pull out all the black. <laughs> white pulls white. What are you giggling at over there? Someone put the sunglasses emoji. That's my favorite emoji. <laughs> the be cool. That's the emoji I used on here. The uh, be right. cool. Oh, I Just see say it. no <laughs> to the drama alum. Ain't nobody got it. time for that. Ain't nobody got time I for that, that, right? Sunglasses emoji. <laughs> Ah, oh, too funny. All right, guys. Can't wait to see what character you do or go ahead and imitate my Mr. What should we go with? What should we go with? What was it? What was the names again? I like Henry and I like Peter. I like Peter. Let's go with Peter. You know, let's let's go with me because he has ears and he reminds me of, I don't know, Peter Cottontail. I don't know, but, but he's like a, he's a llama though, right? He's a llama. So yeah, just have fun with it as long as you know the basic shapes. And you know what? If you can't paint eyes, just put hair all over that part and Way to go, and you're good to go, all right? So guys, our big Banana Bucks winner today, her name is Don Donahue, D-A-W-N-D-O-N-A-H-U-E, Don Donahue. Please, please stand up if you are Don Donahue. 
And uh, yeah, all you have to do, girl, is if somebody tags you or lets you know or are friends with you, just message us at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com before midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Put winner, winner in the subject line so that way I make sure we see that and we can send you back a code that allows you to have 20 big banana bucks to spend over on our website at junkmonkeypaint.com. So, all right, what colors you got a junk monkey? Who cares what surface it is? Just find what you have around your house that needs something. Whether this was a thrift store frame already, I could paint right over the surface. I went over glass, you can go over wood. You can put him on, I don't know, on an end stand if you really want it to, right? The possibilities are endless. All right, guys, give me a time check. Three. Three o'clock. All right, I got to jump into my creative coaching group. You guys know that I'm a business coach and I teach other ladies that want to grow their creative business. So if you want to be a part of it with us and hang out over there, the link is up above this video as well. That happens every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday. I'm in that group live as well. Typically anywhere from a half an hour to an hour per day. I'm in there daily, but those are when you actually get like live sessions from me. Monday we talk business. Wednesdays I take any of your questions that you have for me about how I grew my business, anything like that or even paint techniques if you want to have questions about that too. And on Friday, we always let the paint fly and do a project together. All right, guys, over and out. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.